the 1911 is an iconic, effective, and time-tested pistol. But is it a good choice for beginners? Or is the 1911 a weapon better left to professionals? I love shooting 1911s, and they are great pistols to get, even if you want to customize the shit out of them. They're as American as it gets, and a fantastic piece of history. However, they are far outclassed in basically every way by modern pistol designs for defensive purposes. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the main reasons why the 1911 is a professional's handgun and unsuited for beginners. Weight A full-sized 1911 weighs around 40 ounces, give or take. A full-sized Glock, half that. Sure, a good holster can mitigate the weight a bit, but a good holster holding a pistol half the weight mitigates it even better. As far as dimensions go, it may be a bit narrower than some other designs, but that is its only advantage. Plus, it only gets that because it's single stack, which brings me to my next point. Capacity 7 plus 1 single stack mags in a full-size pistol in today's market is just stupid for a defensive handgun. Similarly sized pistols achieve much higher magazine capacities, and yes, they are double stack. But no, that does not add a ton of width to the gun. Adding a fraction of width to the grip to add a ton of capacity is an easy decision for me. This is especially prevalent when you move to 40 cal or 9mm. Which brings me to reliability. The 1911 design is inherently less reliable than many modern designs such as Glocks, SIGs, and the Smith & Wesson M&P lineup. It is a more complex design and is more subject to failure from a dirty action than newer pistols. Many versions of the 1911 also do not reliably feed hollow points, which is an enormous negative since defensive handguns should always be loaded with hollow points. Safeties I feel this section will inspire the most indignation, but it has to be said. Grip safeties are dangerous and unnecessary. They add a potential point of failure to a device that needs as few points of failure as possible. Why would that be desirable in any way? Thumb safeties are equally as useless. Get a pistol that is drop safe and a good holster. Observe the four rules, and you will not have any problems with it going off when you don't want it to. Price 1911s can get expensive very quickly. The cheapest model in the ever-popular Springfield line goes for $575 at Bud's, while the S&W M&P 9 goes for almost $100 less at $482. Once you start getting into models with adjustable sights or other fancy options, price goes up quickly. We scoured the internet and narrowed down a collection of what we believe to be the most reliable 1911 handguns for just about any budget. Dan Wesson Bruin The Dan Wesson Bruin has the 6-inch barrel that gives it an absolute hammer blow of an impact. It was designed around the 45 ACP ammo and 10 millimeters, so it's a hunter to its core. This is all business, but the detail work has to be seen to be believed, and you'll love the checkering on the front and back strap. Those real wood grips and the skeletonized hammer, competition trigger, and that elegant, long barrel all look fantastic. So does the upswept beaver tail grip safety. You get a long sight radius thanks to that longer slide and fully adjustable tritium sights, combined with a fiber at the front. Dan Wesson doesn't have much left to prove to us. It's basically a guarantee of a near-perfectly engineered 1911 45 that is more accurate than most of us will ever be. This Dan Wesson specialist pistol is right on the $2,000 mark cutoff, but it is worth every cent. Ed Brown Cobra Carry You can't make a list of the best 1911s without including an Ed Brown. Simply the best is the phrase that comes to mind. The Cobra Carry has been scaled down to a 4 and a quarter inch slide length, making it easier to carry as a defensive handgun with all the power and reliability of a full-sized 1911. It features the innovative Ed Brown bobtail housing, which further reduces the overall size and increases carry format while decreasing printing.
Fixed black rear sights accompany an orange HDXR front sight for fast target acquisition. Custom options from Ed Brown include a recessed slide stop, plush barrel with recessed crown, and heavy chamfer. Wilson Combat CQB The close quarters battle model from Wilson Combat is the company's most popular model. Wilson calls it a thoroughly modernized version of the original John Browning M1911. But don't be fooled. Although it's built in the original M1911 style, it's made for the modern shooter and performs like it. It features a stainless steel frame and slide, beaver tail with grip safety, contoured magazine well, and G10 starburst grips. Reliable and accurate, the CQB is perfect whether you're a competitive shooter, want to carry the best as your concealed carry firearm, or just love shooting at the range. It's also available in a variety of calibers. Les Bear Custom Premier 2 The Les Bear Custom Premier 2 looks ungainly from some angles, but the brand has established a fearsome reputation for pinpoint accuracy that has seen some serious love from the target shooting community. It's a popular marksman's weapon. There's no shimmy, no drag from that stainless steel frame and slide. They just work together perfectly smoothly. Nothing on this Les Bear looks especially flashy until you get down to those minor details. So you may be forgiven for checking out more exotic looking offerings. I wouldn't blame you. But for some, nothing but a Les Bear will do. And you are also right. Springfield Armory 1911 DS Prodigy Why can't I have a 1911 with the same capacity of all these fancy polymer-framed guns? Well, Springfield Armory has answered that question in the form of the 1911 DS Prodigy pistol. From everything like a black Cerakote finish to a match-grade bushingless forged stainless steel bowl barrel, this pistol is built to run hard and be surgically accurate at the same time. Also, you will have all the rounds on board that you could possibly need. You get both a 17 plus 1 and 20 plus 1 magazines from the factory with the option to also buy 26 plus 1 magazines direct from Springfield Armory if you so choose. Two versions of the 1911 DS Prodigy are available with either a 4 and a quarter inch or 5 inch barrel. The match grade bowl barrels are made from forged stainless steel and have a 1 to 16 twist rate. Both the slide and the frame are made from forged carbon steel, which is topped off with black Cerakote. The slide includes deep serrations at the front and rear portions, as well as a pre-cut section on top to accept a large range of different red dot optics. Thanks to the use of agency optics system plates designed specifically for the pistols. A U-notch steel rear and green fiber optic front sight are also included from the factory. The frame includes a single Picatinny slot machined into the dust cover, flared magazine well, and textured polymer grip panel. Controls include extended ambidextrous thumb safeties, an extended beaver tail grip safety, skeletonized trigger shoe and hammer, as well as a standard M1911 magazine release and slide release. Both the 4 and a quarter inch and 5 inch barreled versions have a suggested retail price of $1,499. Both are also offered in package deals, with Hex Dragonfly Red Dot Optics included for $1,699. So, what do you think? Is the 1911 pistol a good choice for beginners? Please, share your thoughts in the comments below.